Hello, I am Bill Kyle, an area manager here at Pierce Manufacturing, and today I would like to take you through a walk to show you how a fire truck is built. There are processes that are happening simultaneously throughout the build process so the components come together at the appropriate time. One of these processes is paint. Our cabs and bodies are formed and welded at our IPP plant, then they are brought here to be painted. We remove the parts that will not be painted like tread plate. Then we send the components through our seven step automotive quality paint process. We also paint other components like fenders and bumpers to supply the manufacturing lines with the parts they need. Here we are in our paint lab. As you can see here, we are climbing into almost the 300 range of different variations or shades of red uh, that the customer gets to, to check on. Uh, we have other paint colors throughout here in the paint lab uh, that customers come in, they inspect uh, to pick what color they want for their truck. All right, so here we are. We landed in our frame up area. These are where the birth of the truck is, is what I call it, the birth of the truck. And these frames are started over here. We actually build it from the ground up. We grab these frame rails, we put them in each different pocket, and it actually progresses from one station to the next. Once it progresses from here, it goes on to the paint. Once it's painted, we send it over into our tire bay to get the tires installed, and we move it on to the next part of our chassis process. All right, we've now made it from frame up to chassis line station one. Uh, uh, there's a line of five trucks, of so stations one, th two, three, four, and five. On this line, we can start installing the main chassis harness, the engine is installed, along with the radiator. All right, we're at the end of chassis lines one through five, so we are in station five, and we do have all of our chassis for our Appleton units go down all of chassis line and it's determined if the rest of the truck is built at our ASY function, our IPP, or our CBN function over in Nina. This truck behind me is an aerial, and this will be going off to our CBN team as we progress this truck and get it through the rest of the chassis line. We will get it over there. But as you can see here at the end of the line of Station 5, the engine is mounted, the def tank is now in, we have airlines ran for the brakes, so on and so forth. Here we are at another critical installation of the, of the build assembly. Uh, we have our cab line over here. A lot of components are getting installed. Our cabs are welded up over at our other facility. Uh, kind of like the bodies, once they are, are built, they're over here, they come over here, they get painted, uh, and then we put, start reassembling some of the components that the IPP team put on. Once reassembled, we started putting in a lot more of the components. Once it hits here, we are getting ready to mount this cab, mount the cab onto the chassis. Here we are at station nine of the chassis line. In station nine, we install the pump onto the chassis. Uh, we then progress it over into station 10, where we actually get the truck up and running and able to drive maneuver the truck throughout the yard here at Pierce. Here we are in the chassis line, stations 11 through 15. We, we have the truck up and running now, but we are putting in the final checks, calibrations on these trucks, doing all the sorts of things that we should be doing before we mount the body onto the chassis. Uh, we are also doing an air conditioning test and some other calibration tests that are done on the truck. The body is built over or welded up over at our other facility at the IPP plant. Once it gets over here, we strip the body, we send it to paint, and then we put the body onto the module line. A lot of these parts are pre-fit on the, over at IPP, and we reinstall them over here. And then we start installing as many components as we can onto the body before we mount it over on the pre-line. Here we are getting to the pre-line, and on the pre-line here in station three, this is a key focal point within the final assembly or the assembly portion. Every major component is now installed. We have the body installed 
And here in station three, we now have the water tank installed. As you can see, we brought the water tank in for this truck right here. We are gonna to begin to prep the water tank, get everything ready to go before this truck advances into station three. And then once it's in station three, we'll lift the tank up, we'll install it, and we'll start making all of our connections. We're walking into here the final assembly portion of the build. And within the final assembly portion, we separated the trucks into content of trucks and how we are building these trucks. So as you can see, lane one is down there. Uh, lane one is more of our lower content trucks. Uh, and it progresses on down to lane two, where is our medium content. And then we get into lane three, where is our, our high content trucks of the final assembly portion. As we're in here on the final assembly portion, we're getting ready for these trucks to send it off to our pump test team. A lot of heavy stuff is done on these trucks. We do the compartmentation, so the shelves, the tool boards, that sort of thing. Uh, we also assemble the hose bed. It's put together grading, dividers, hose bed covers. Uh, also the cargo area is put together, so we're installing the generator. We're also doing a pre-pump function. We're checking to make sure that this truck is going to be ready to be pumped. Uh, another uh, operation is, is we get it road ready. We're making sure that this truck is ready to go on the road. Uh, so we're doing a lot of things here at the end of the portion to make sure that these trucks are ready to go for the customer. Other parts of the build is we'll install the hood of, the, of a Velocity. We'll install the brow light on the truck. Uh, we're putting on final lights on the, on the outside of the truck, AC floodlights. Uh, so on and so forth to make sure that everything is buttoned up and ready to go on these trucks. These trucks come from our pre-line. So pre-line feeds all of the lanes. They feed lanes one, lane two, and lane three. So once they come off a of pre-line, it's determined which line they're going to go to and it progresses from there. Here we are on the manufacturing release line. This truck, these trucks are about a day away from getting released to graphics. We are doing our final paint inspection. We are putting on any sort of loose ends, tying up loose tasks, those sort of things to minimize uh, anything that's going out to the top team. All these trucks uh, have a criteria they have to make before we release these trucks onto graphics. Here we are in our graphics department. As you can see, our gold leaf is being installed over here by this gentleman. And we also have separate layouts for the customer. So the graphics team uh, is working off the order that we're going through. We could potentially have customers in here right now that are working on their, uh, their layout graphics package. Um, and then we could be working on any sort of changes that we're working on in the trucks also for the graphics. Here we are in Checkout West. These trucks have either been inspected by the customer or they are about a day away from the customer coming in to inspect these trucks. We are doing our final checkpoints to make sure they're ready to go for the customer or we are installing some final key components for the customer right before we go ahead and ship the truck to the customer. We've made it to the blue floor. We are on the blue floor now where customers come in and inspect their trucks. We line up the blue floor for all the inspections for that day or maybe the day of or day before. We get them all ready to go on the blue floor here. The customer comes in, inspects the truck. Uh, they may take these trucks out on a road trip. They may go pump them. Uh, and and we'll pretty much whatever they want to do with these trucks, we allow them to take them, take them on. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Be safe.